Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to create user authentication using MySQL, Node.js, SQLize, Express and the JWT. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. Whether you call it as the MySQL DB connection, this is also covered. Whether you call it as a CRUD REST API, that is also covered because we are doing the authentication. That means we are creating the REST APIs and that way you can modify. So these three, four tutorials are combining with the one that is user authentication using MySQL, Node.js, SQLize, Express and the JWT. So let's get started, dive into the code level. Okay, so first of all, let's create the project that is make directory. So I'm going to do with the Node.js, SQLize, SQLize, with the MySQL. Okay, so here we go with this one. So CD Node.js, Node.js, SQLize, and MySQL. So here I'm going to create a packet.json file with the help of the initiator packet.json file with the help of this. Okay, this is done. Moving to the next, we have to install some of the packages. So first we will go into with the create a models with user.js. So let's go and just open the code base over here. Okay, so first we will create the model folder. So create models. Okay, then what we have to create that is user.js. Okay, so copy this and uh, create a file over to it. Okay, so let's paste this code. I have already built in. So let me open the models and open this one. So here we go with this one. Okay, so what we have required over here. So we required the SQLize. So make sure that npm package to be installed. Okay, then here we have the user to define the username, email, password, and then timestamps to be false. Uh, if you want the timestamps to be true, then remove this one. That means created that or updated that. Okay. So this is models part is done. So whatever fields you want to add, you can add. So email should be a data type string, allow null to be false and always to be a unique. Okay. So this type of things you can add accordingly and uh, you know the SQLize, then you come to know about exactly. And you can watch the pre videos of my SQLize. You get to know about the basics of. Okay. So this is done. Moving to the next part. This, uh, this one is done. The next one that we have to create db.js file. Okay. So let me open the db.js file over here also. So I have already made this db.js. So let me copy this and add it over here. So let me create <coughs> in the here db.js, right? db.js file. Okay, let's add it. And here the dialect is my MySQL. <coughs> okay. So here we have the database name um, that is going to be any of the database you can mention like test DB. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, here we have the user. So my user is root and uh, my password is like this. OK, so add it and localhost and the MySQL. So this is my DB. This is my username. This is password. OK, got it. Moving to the next step. OK, so here we go with this one db.js file is done so first is database name username password and the mysql okay now we have to create the app.js file so let's create this app.js file and i'm going to use my code over here so let's create this app.js okay and let's put this code over here okay so something else we have added over here let me check this so here we have the bycrypt json web token and everything okay so the thing is that we have added async part over here so let me add this code over here for the synchronization of the mysql database data tab tables to be connected okay so let me copy this okay so let's add it the code over here so here we have the SQLize, right? Sync with the database sync, cache with this one. So, or we can go with this one. <coughs> A sync try SQLize connection to the established and model synchronized with the database and able to connect. Okay, save this 
and let's install the npm packages that's very important so let's add the npm i express what would we, i think i have a full list of that one give me a second if i have mm -hmm. so where no 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 i think i am on so express by crypt we required and json web token we required pg we don't require so let's omit this and enter this this we required next we require this is done this is done this is done okay anything that is pending i think my sql uh, is done okay so let's get started with this one so let's run node app.js file and here we go with the mysql package 2 we have to install so let's install this one in pmi mysql 2 okay so here we go with node app please install the package connection manager i think we are uh, i know how to solve this one so let's go and check this one give me a second so the issue is only that we have to refer the MySQL dialog dialect over here. So this is very important if you are using SQLize. Okay. So make sure you have to install the MySQL too. And in the dialect module, you need to require the MySQL too. Done. This is okay. Let's run this one. And here you can see everything is uh, creatable if the user does not exist. And model synchronized with the database is done. Let's have a look on that one. So here we go with this one, localhost and we have the php then we have add minor okay let's log in with this one root and my password i need to add it over here let's log in and we have a test db let's check the users table and the id username email password generated right let's go and check the register login and the token and then with the help of the token we are going to validate the user info let's see go open the postman then we have a first let's register this one i think it's auth login is not there it's just only register i suppose so make it register register with this account and here i require the username so let's add the username also username with the anything you can add okay so let's try to send this and it will say something it's 4000 port okay so i have just 4000 port so user just successfully let's have a look on that one select data so this is added let's log in and here we go with this one so let's go and just check with login details let's log in send you will get the token okay so let's copy this and add this token to the user information and this is only uh, user info and this is 4000 route right let me add the bearer token over here so here we need to add this bearer token right this is done let's try to send and information is getting on if i add something wrong over here then what happened invalid token that means full-fledged validation with the token is also there, right? So let's dive into the code level and understand how the things goes on. So I think you are clear on the db.js file app um, models user.js file. I will show you each and everything so that you can write, okay? Next, we have a app.js file that is the mail file, okay? So here we require express db. So import from the db.js file models from the here from the model sequelize then by by crypt and the json web token okay express this is the main packages that we have added and first here we are checking that the sequelize to authenticate whatever the models we have whatever we have the connection base connection is running or not okay so this is for the connection await sequelize to authenticate the other uh, if authenticate then the database establish and sync all the tables all the models are synced or not then it will come over here and the model is synchronized with the database else unable to connect if the credentials are wrong okay 
here we are accepting the JSON. So app dot use express dot JSON. Else you would go with the body parsers. If you have form URL encoded something like this, so you can install that package also. Then first one that we have a register user registration REST API. So here we go with this one. We we accept the username, email, and the password from the request body. Okay, and we require the hash password because here you can see here we have the hash passwords, right? So nobody can understand what the password is. So we are using the bycrypt module for that. Okay, then await user dot create username, email, and the password and the hash password. Okay, then message with the user is successfully and the user details. If something goes wrong, it will go to the catch block and give you the error. Okay, moving to the next, we have the JWT, right? So here we go with the login. So let me word wrap this. So login with the email and the password. Okay, so request dot body. So if we require email and the password, first we check on the behalf of the email that the user exists or the not. If not, then invalid credentials. Then the second step would be matching the password. Whatever the user has added the password, it's the matching with the password that is added in the database or not with the help of the bike compare. So here the password that is request body and the user password we get from here. Okay, then if the password not matching, then we are returning that invalid credentials or you can send the message that invalid password or password doesn't match. Okay, after everything sorted, then we are going to sign the JWT with the user ID from the user we are getting with the respective secret key. So this is secret key, right? So whatever would be the secret key, any number it would be a secret key, right? And expires in one hour and return the token and you can manipulate the response accordingly okay console.log error in login and if something goes wrong it go with the server error okay next we are going to create a middleware for the verify the jwt right so let's go to the user info and here you can see protected route to get the user info so get user info verify token so here we go with the verify so first we request the header authorization okay if the token is not there then what we are going, we are going to verify the JWT with the token split and the secret key. If we get the user record, it will save into the request.user decoded format. And then we are going to use this request user here, request.user.user ID. Okay. And then we are going to find the record by this. And if this not there, then user not found. If it is there, it return the record. Okay. If something goes wrong, it will go to the last block that is catch block and error fetching the user info or the server error we are returning with the 500 status code okay at the last start the server on the port number here the app will listen on the port number the server is running on the respective port right after doing this you are able to how to connect with the sqlize mysql you get to know about how to create the rest api with the mysql sqlize now you are going to know about the use authentication with the JWT, MySQL and the SQLize, right? So these three aspects of the tutorial covers. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.